I just feel like I should be somewhere in Spain on holiday but clearly that's not happening. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm so excited because we're gonna be doing a cute Zara haul. Now, can you actually believe before this, I've never shopped at Zara before. I've gone into Zara so many times and I've never been able to find like nice bits that would go on me. And also I think it was like more budget. I've been a student before and I never really thought like, oh, I would go shop at Zara. It's more on the higher end, but I feel like I found some cute affordable pieces but there are some bits that are like from 50 pounds onwards guys the quality is insane so i've shopped twice um since lockdown started um my sister and my mum always shop from there but i've just never done it some bits i haven't even tried some i've already worn but i've been really pleased so far i know so many of you have been looking forward to this haul video i haven't done a haul in ages <laughs> why and also i do have a couple of other bits from different brands that i shopped online that i thought i wanted to share with you because they were quite cute but this is mainly zara but at the end i'll show some other bits that i got so yeah let's jump straight in the video guys oh and by the way first of all let's start with the first thing i got these really cute earrings these are from zara and they're like oranges hang on let me put the brightness down okay so they're like cute oranges they're a bit sparkly and this is like a string fabric on the leaves they're so unique and i feel like i just felt like i needed them i needed them in my life i just feel like i should be somewhere in spain on holiday but clearly that's not happening i think these were 12.99 they're so cute they're so cute i love them they're quite heavy as well i've got my clothes here, am I officially a fashion blogger? Honestly, fashion hasn't been my forte, like my strong point, but I'm gonna make an improvement. I bought some pieces that I definitely don't have in my wardrobe, something a bit different, and this is like a representation of my wardrobe. I like to keep some neutrals, but I also like to play with colour as well, especially in summertime, so I've got a little bit of everything, and I'm so happy. I can't, honestly, I can't wait to try the bits I got okay so this is the first piece i got it's a really cute like oversized dress it's slightly see-through but i really don't mind it um i would say to like put a belt with it but i kind of just like it um like this no this is like so cute like i thought i wasn't too sure about it at first and i just want to show you guys i need to put the camera down i got these cute ass um sandals uh mia loves beauty actually recommended it on her stories ignore my ugly ass feet but they're so cute they're very unique this is just a top shop bag i have but i definitely would pair it with this bag and just be on my way i ain't got time i ain't got time okay but yeah this bag is one of my favorite little cute bags i got from top shop and you can actually fit so much in here um you could wear it crossbody if you wanted to. But this is so like my type of vibe on a really hot day walking through London, like Oxford Street. What do you guys think? I'm so happy with this one. Honestly, I give this um, dress a 10 out of 10. I can't see like much see-throughness going on. Like I can't see nothing. But if you want, you can put like a tight bodycon short dress underneath like really thin and this is just a little close-up of the sandals they're super simple but i think it's like a staple piece it just amps up your um outfit so much and just makes it look extra elegant with the square tips my sister doesn't really like them but i love them i don't have like the white shirt that you need in a wardrobe i just feel like everyone needs a white shirt so I got this one, see how it looks. And I also got these cute trousers and they have embroidery flowers on them. I thought they were so cute. Look at that. It feels like such great quality and I actually could wear this to work as well. Um, so I thought these would be like such a great fit together. So let's try these on. The trousers are 30 pounds, 29.99 and I've got a size S. I put these on. Stop it. Who is this person? Who is this? Who am I? Who do I think I am? My thoughts on the trousers is that I really like them. They are like, I don't know if you can see, come back all the way here, but they stop right above the ankle and they're quite high waisted. But I love the design of it and paired with the tucked in shirt, the shirt is like 10 out of 10. The quality is insane. You can it's see through, but what I would actually wear underneath is like, I would keep this open, but put like, 
I would put like a bodysuit or honestly I could just wear it like this. It's so elegant, like and the, the trousers do have pockets which I really like. Honestly, it looks so elegant. I love it so much. You've got a cute little pocket there. So classy. Oh my god, everything 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The quality is insane. Oh I'm so this is everything from the back as well. Doesn't go up your butt. There's no see throughness Okay, so this is the next outfit I got. This is so elegant. Like, I just feel like a woman. I feel like everyone and their mums have this bodysuit. And I really like the... I really like the... The fit on me. I love how it makes me look super elegant. Again, I could wear this to work with a blazer. I, have to, I actually have to go grab a gla blazer so we can try it together. It doesn't give me armpit boobies. There's no back boobies, because I do have them, okay? <laughs> and everything's just... <laughs> Guys, I'm so hyped up right now. I love this. I need to get the other colours. And I saw they came out with the mustard, and I would so wear that. So these are only $12.99. The trousers are £20. I got size... 10 and this was a size s and bear in mind this s is quite tight on me um but i can get away with it and the material of the bodysuits are so bomb another outfit i'm really really pleased with okay let me go get a blazer this is what the outfit looks like with the um blazer i actually got this blazer from river island it's i always wear it to work but with, paired with this whole outfit and even like the slippers i think it goes really well yeah definitely love everything here and i need to get all the bodysuits they're like really worth it honestly i like it i like how it looks on my body personally okay what shall we do next i think let's do like jeans so i got these jean shorts i think i'll pair it with this so i actually got this um cute crop and again i love the color and I think it'll go really well with these jean shorts. So let's try these. The top was uh, $5.99 and I've got an S. And the shorts were £20 and I've got a size 10. Look like this. Let's try these on. I don't even know if I can fit in a size 10. I'm, honestly, I've been eating so much. I can't even tell you guys. Okay, the, this is the next outfit, and to be honest, I really do like the jeans, but I need to go size up. It's illegal to wear jeans these tight, okay? I can, if I sat down, that's it, I think I would pass out. Um, and these jeans have like five buttons that like, you have to do up, so I was just here for like 10 minutes trying to like tighten this up, and it's making my top bit bulge out. <sighs> my struggles. Do you feel me? This is the quarantine food that's built up here um but i really do love the crop top and i love the fit of the the jeans and it doesn't flatten your butt if you can't squat it's not good if you can't do full court squat without thinking you're gonna rip this thing apart then now i have to go size up so yeah definitely a 12. i have heard that some zara things can run a little small um, but I love the square cut of this crop. I love the colour. I love the fit actually. So I'm going to exchange these for size 12. A bit disappointing because I really like these. But it's fine. I'll exchange them. So yeah, this is this outfit. We really happy. Very casual. Yeah. And the crop for 5 dollars is amazing quality. Like trust me. It's so nice. You know what? Let's try this dress. Really cute dress. I thought like I could wear this in the garden. And just pretend I'm some like garden maid or... Something cute, you know. Okay, I don't care what anyone says, okay? I feel like this looks so cute. I love it. I just see myself just having a chill, cute day, like a barbecue day in the garden with this on. I wouldn't necessarily go out with it. It's more like a house thing for me. But I would definitely bring this on holiday for sure. Like, I love it. And again, the quality is really nice. No, I love this one. I'm gonna ask my mom. And even with my cute bag, I feel like this bag goes with anything, especially during summer. And how much is this? Why are tags so hard to get off? Okay, this was $17.99. So I think considering like the way it looks and fits and the quality, that's really good. And I've got a size S. And it just stops halfway through the lower leg. I think the length's perfect, so I'm really happy with this one, guys. 
Thumbs up. Okay, what shall we do next? I think I'm getting through my Zara stuff slowly. And let's do another bodysuit because I got this cute colour. Um, this was $12.99 as well, I think. And gosh, way to interrupt someone. Basically, if you don't got if you guys don't know yet, I have the most vocal cat in the world. Um, but I thought the colour was so cute. Again, my sister inspired me to get this, and I got some cute jeans too. But again, I don't know if I'm gonna fit because I got an S. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got a ten. This is an S. So let's try these on. You don't jump. Put your G's on, then you don't feel my pain. Not that I got a big booty, but these are just extra small. <laughs> I actually just could keep these. They actually fit really well. And they're kind of like trumpety at the bottom. But I feel like these are so in at the moment. I'm getting like 90s vibes out of these jeans. But they're a bit tight. I'm not going to lie. But I can do a full squat comfortably. I could stay with these all day. But they look good. This is how they look in the back. And of course... I really do like the bodysuit. I've already taken a photo on this on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. But yeah, this outfit's really me, I would say. And I really do like the jeans. They fit amazingly. They're really nice quality. I usually only get Topshop jeans, but these are really nice. I can't hype the bodysuits enough. I know why these are all hyped up, because they're really, really good. I've actually already worn this and taken a picture of it, I think. This one is a, it's the same as that deep blue one that I tried. This one here. Um, but I got it in black because I like the, sh the shape of it. So let's try these. This is the blue top. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. Like the fit of it. But I like the colour. Like the colour is quite unique. I don't have a top that's this shape. So I got this. But yeah, the fit's not the best. So I would definitely rate this like a 6 out of 10. But I'll still wear it. Okay, this is the square um, fit. Who cuts these off? Because I find them so annoying. I know these little stringy things are for hangers, but these are way too exposed. But anyways, this is the black crop top with the jeans. They actually go really well together. I mean, it's just a classic outfit, but love the fit of these crop tops. And I think they have different colors, so I might, might get them. So we've actually done all our Zara items. I think we're going to move on to the Boohoo stuff that I got. I actually found this really cute white shirt. Um, I did want to incorporate more of these staple pieces that you can just pair with anything. And I was quite impressed with the look of this. So I got this in a size 12. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it was quite affordable. So it doesn't feel as thick and as good quality as the Zara one for sure. But it looks really nice. I might keep the crop top underneath. By the way, guys, I need some tips. How do you keep your white shirt so white? Because... I can never do it and I know I wash all the whites on their own but they always seem to go a funny colour afterwards. Let's tuck this in. Not like there's, there's a lot of space to tuck in but... Actually, let's do this look here. I don't know if this is a look or am I doing something weird but I really like this shirt. Like, this shirt is so stunning. And you've got frilly sleeves. I love everything that's going on here. I definitely would wear like something underneath because it's quite see-through. But yeah, you could just tuck it in. But I actually like this kind of look that I'm serving right now. This one, 10 out of 10, I love it. But yeah, please write some tips in the comments below on how, like what products you use to keep your shirts extra white. Like, what do you do? I actually got this from Boohoo. I'll try it on quickly. But I'm gonna do this one last. Um, I also got this little cute outfit from Miss Guided. I'm dropping everything. So I got these cute kind of like cargo pants from Miss Guided. They're actually really big. I don't know how this is going to look at me. They're humongous. And I got this in a size 10. And I saw this on Saffron Barker's video. And I felt like I needed it. So it's like a tie-dye. And I feel like tie-dye is so in at the moment. So we'll try these two together. Okay, so this is this outfit right here. And I'm actually really digging it. Trousers makes a lot of noise. But I like them. 
No, I like this. It's different and then you've got pockets. I like the colour. This, These two actually go really well together, I feel like. It's just a little cute outfit I felt like I needed in my wardrobe. Okay, this is the final item. It's so simple, but I really like it. I would actually wear this out, honestly, on those really hot days. But it's more like something I would wear in my garden or just around in the house. I loved like the graphic design on it. And yeah, I got this from Boohoo and it was really affordable. So yeah, what a lovely way to end the video in comfy clothes. Hope you guys enjoyed this clothing haul. I'm really pleased with everything. The only thing I was quite disappointed with was the jean shorts, but I think I might have to get them in a size 12. Um, they are really nice. Please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys really did like this and maybe I'll try and do more in the future, but I'm definitely a big Zara fan now. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.